Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins and welcome to part three about hair loss and your hormones. So far, now you know how to increase your testosterone levels as stated in the previous video. And your next goal is to keep it high and this is done by preventing your high testosterone from being converted or being reduced and lowered to what I call negative aging hormones. And the first bad hormone is called dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT. And this is the hormone that's known to cause hair loss and extra body hair growth and also prostate problems. Drugs such as, you know, these are hair loss drugs such as Proscar or Propecia or Avidart work by inhibiting the 5-alpha reductase enzyme from converting and reducing testosterone to DHT. Herbs such as salt palmetto also have similar effects, just not nearly as strong. Unfortunately, these DHT inhibitors also dramatically reduce your drive for life, especially your sex drive and libido, thus being one of the major causes of impotence. Additionally, they cause depression and even suicidal thoughts. In fact, there's websites dedicated specifically for these topics for users of these drugs. And now the pharmaceutical companies are required to even put these side effect warnings inside the package insert. Now, they've known about it for years, but because of so many complaints, the FDA has forced them to put, put it in the literature. So you don't want to take these drugs or even the herb salt palmetto. Instead, there is a specific form of zinc, the mineral, which is clinically proven to lower DHT and also increase your testosterone levels all at the same time, thus leading to an increase in your libido and sex drive. So in summary, one of the reasons your testosterone lowers as you age is due to the conversion of DHT, which is testosterone's what I call evil brother. Now, the 5-alpha reductase or the DHT inhibiting drugs such as Proscar, Propecia, and Avidart and herbs such as salt palmetto extract are known to cause lower sex drive, impotence, and also increased depression. And finally, instead, what you want to do is take a specific form of zinc, which has all the DHT lowering benefits, but without any of the negative side effects. However, there's one other major problem. One of the side effects of these DHT inhibitors is higher estrogen levels, which leads to gynecomastia or man boobs, right? In fact, higher estrogen is one of the major causes of hair loss and the decrease in testosterone and the increase in DHT. Again, we do not want this. So in my next video, I'll discuss estrogen and hair loss and how you can fix these hormonal imbalances. However, if you're in a rush and want to know more about one of my personal favorite solutions for increasing your testosterone and decreasing your negative hormones, Naturally, you can just click the link below in the description area and you can copy the proven formula. Now, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right now so you don't miss any future updates about this and similar topics. And please leave your questions and comments below about this video. However, let's continue to the next video called Estrogen and Hair Loss.